Section 2, which covers questions 3 through 5, starts off by saying, Describe any patterns you observe in the table below. Well, I know as the length increases, what happened to my width? That width decreased. Next note. As the length increased, the area increased and then suddenly started to decrease as length increased area increased reached a max then started to decrease All right. Seems like the largest area comes from when the box is an 80 by 80, which is a square. The largest area is when length and width are 80 resulting in a square number four is a 70 yard by 90 yard rectangle the same as a 90 yard by 70 yard rectangle and explain your reasoning well They have the same area. Just different orientations. So for instance, one might look like such while the other might look like this. So they're technically like the same, but it's like rotated basically. Okay, graph the data from the table in item two as ordered pairs. So length of your rectangle, first column, and area of your rectangle, which is that last column. So 10 comma, 1500 then we have 20 comma 2800 then we have 40 comma 4800 then we have 60 comma 6000 then we have 80 comma 6400 We have a hundred comma six thousand. We have one twenty comma forty eight hundred. We have one forty comma twenty eight hundred. And lastly, we have one hundred and fifty comma one thousand five hundred. As such. Take a moment to answer questions three through four and get that copied over. On the next slide, you will see a debriefing question.